Okay, we're coming down to the main deck to see the most famous table in Newport Beach. What happened right here on this table, Bert? <laughs> well, the table could tell some stories, I'm sure. I have to be diplomatic and <laughs> watch what I say. But he would have dinners here in the evenings with his family and friends, uh, card games, and backgammon. Got and this is the original, the original table. table. I believe it's Koa Wood, K-O-A, I believe, wow. from Hawaii. It's Used amazing to... that they saved this. There was a split. Yeah, there is a split here. Someone sat on the end, it split, and they glued it together. Now, it might be the other side. I remember painting this deck many a time. Painting uh, the deck, varnishing the deck. Well, this is Hornblower's idea, I think. It used to be light gray paint. When I first joined the ship, it was a maroon paint, which I didn't care for. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I've been on my hands and knees with a three or four inch brush painting for hours on here. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't use a roller, it was a lot quicker. <laughs> and we enjoyed taking care of the boat. How many crew enjoyable. members did you have? Generally six full-time crew members. Six full-time crew have, members. You have the captain, the engineer, the first mate, maybe two deckhands, and a steward. The steward would take care of the guests, bunks, make up the bunks. Keep what the about a clean. chef? Oh, we had a chef also. His name was Billy Sweat. He was with us for 12 years. What kind of uh, food did he specialize in? In fact, uh, I was mentioning the other day, I said, I miss those steaks we used to have on the Wild Goose. The, the finest meat I've tasted it. Well, it, he, he said it, it should taste good. It was 30 bucks a pound <laughs> in those days. So. so John Wayne didn't skimp when it came to, to, to food, to his oh, steaks. Oh, heck no, no. In fact, he came in the galley one time and said, no crew is going to eat as good as the crew on the Wild Goose. And it was, he was right. <laughs> so the crew ate well I, as I would, well. I would gain about 10 pounds every trip. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, this was always a family boat for John Wayne, wasn't it? I mean, that's his primary use of this boat. Yes, that's right. It was his great getaway from Hollywood. Come With on. his wife. Wife and the children. Oh, I think they were the happiest times of his life. It's absolutely wonderful just walking on board here. We're now leaving the stern of the boat. I almost hate to call it a boat. It's big enough to be a ship. We're leaving the stern and we're going up to the bow to visit the wheelhouse where you spent a lot, a lot of, of time. A lot of that time John Wayne was with you. Now there's a pose for you right there. Here's Bert. We're in the wheelhouse and Bert you actually sat in this chair with your feet up like this. That's right. I would stand my four-hour watch like this, mm -hmm. watching out for ships or buoys or whatever. Well, you're recreating history right here and doing a darn good job of it right there. You feel comfortable <laughs> you. like this, don't and you? And the Duke would sit here occasionally, too. Really? And look over your shoulder. Well, yeah, watch what's going on and maybe have a cocktail or two. And <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're the old captain, sit right. where you used to sit. Here's okay. the new captain. <laughs> You don't sit in that chair and put your feet up too, do you? We reserve that for a bird. Okay, yes, good yes, enough. We leave that for a bird. Now, does this look pretty much the way it would have looked years ago? Pretty close, and I'm sure Bert can correct me even better. The uh, bridge engine room telegraph is original. The ship's steering wheel is all original. Has the original old binnacle with, with the added benefits of newer stuff that the Coast Guard nowadays requires for us to have. And when you took over as captain, how important was you was it to you the whole idea that John Wayne this was John Wayne's uh, boat honestly this is what has what I feel has absolutely made my career I, I remember starting out really young and and the one boat that I wanted to drive is the what was the wild goose and and you know fortunately enough here I am and and I I, I would pay for the chance do luckily you, I don't have to but I would pay for the chance do you feel his spirit here, kind of the sense of <laughs> I like. I definitely like to, to think so. Right here, I definitely like to think so. Yeah, definitely like to think so. Because Especially, we're fortunate enough to have Bert come by and 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 visit us, and it, it's very important to us keeping the history alive of the old yacht.